and not my YouTube days. Hi, YouTube friends. I'm here today to show you guys a really, really cool tutorial that I have for you. Probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. And you know who y'all can thank? My mom. So she discovered the way to color your hair non-permanently, so easily, probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. My mom loves to watch The Voice with Christina Aguilera, and <laughs> Christina Aguilera always has these fun colors in her hair. I'm like, girl, how does that girl put that color in her hair every day, a different color? So my mom figured it out, and all you need to do it is a set of pastel colors and water. Magic. As you can see, I did some red, some violet, and all sorts of fun colors in my hair. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's so easy. <laughs> I, I might put color in my hair every single day. I'm not even going to lie. The downfall. You kind of have to have lighter hair to do this, um, bleached or blonde, whatever color you hair, whatever color hair you have. Um, or may maybe you can get away with it with like a light brown, but I'm not sure. My hair is um, relatively dark blonde, and it came out pretty good. So I'd say you guys could do it. And yes, I am sitting on my floor in the bathroom. So what you're going to need, as I said before, is just a simple pastel kit that looks like this, which my mother got from AC Moore. Go to any art supply store. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. Oh, no. I'm so klutzy. I, like, was, you know, I guess I wasn't careful enough. But they kind of fell out of place. You know, make sure you buy the kit with the colors that you want to do. Dang it. You can do your tips. I don't like to put them on top. I like to put them like underneath my top layer so they kind of blend and then when you're like walking around flo floating your hair around, then it gets all prettified. The color comes through from underneath. So, all right, let's start the tour. I can't talk. Oh. So I clipped up a section of my hair right here. Nice clean pieces. And I'm just gonna take a chunk. I like to do them kind of thin. So we're just gonna do this piece right here. I'm going to get my water. I'm just going to dip my fingers in the water and wet in the hair. I'm literally just dipping my fingers in the water and it's wet and there goes the water. But see, just rip it on. Doesn't have to be like dripping wet, just damp. So the color I'm going to use is purple. I have like pink, red, and purple in my hair right now and I think it looks cool. So now... How cool this is. This is so freaking cool. I'm literally just rubbing it on. And I really want you, it'll get all over your hands. If you want to use gloves, I suggest it, but I don't have any. Look at that. It's just the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's so easy. It takes like two minutes. Magical. I always think of Jenna Marbles when I say that. Have you guys seen the Jenna Marbles video of her magic one? And she's like, it's magic! And she does all sorts of funny shit. I love her. Now you guys need to watch that. It's so funny. I'm going to post it. Up here in the corner. Oh, Lord. And we're just going to... You can go up as high as you want. I'm just doing it towards the bottom because nobody ever sees this high part of my hair because it's always down. So, I got the whole chunk. Do a small chunk if you want, just to make sure you get all of it. But, God, this is so cool. <laughs> I would love to just do like rainbow cotton candy colors. You could literally just do this every day and have it match your outfit. Here we go. And we're literally just going to let it sit there, let it dry, and we'll come back and look at my hands. And see, this does tend to happen to it, where it gets a little indent where you are rubbing it on. So I will warn you that. If you're going to be using this for art as well, I would recommend buying two kits because these do run out pretty fast as you're rubbing it in your hair. So I'm going to let it dry and I will be back in like 10 minutes when it's dry and we can see it. Yay! Okay guys, so my hair is all done now and as you can see it's very, very vibrant. So it just dried like regular hair and then I brushed it and straightened it. When you brush it, go careful though because a little bit of the color will come out. If I recommend just leaving it and flat ironing over it or curling it and it will, the heat will set it for as long as it can. So I did put in um, the pinks and reds last night and they're staying in pretty strong and I really, really, really love how this looks right now. I think it looks really cool. It's just subtle enough to be fun without going to extreme. You can 
can get really creative with it. I think I'm going to do um like a cotton candy one next time with like blues, greens, purples, and um, you could do anything you want. It's the magic of it, and it will only last until you wash it out. It's a cheap, really cool way to style boring hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and um, I really appreciate you guys. I have a lot of new subscribers lately, and I've been getting um, shout-outs from some of my favorite Instagram pages, and I really appreciate that, you guys. I'm going to link below um, some awesome Instagrammers that I recommend you follow, especially if you're a curvy girl. I really love them, and I follow them, like, religiously, so check them out below, and... If you have any questions about this tutorial, it is super easy, and you can see my fun bright purple there. And I hope you guys use this, because it's really cool. And I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love it. The crazy was bound to come out of me eventually.